Hello everyone. Today in front of you, you may see the NECA Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. I picked this up at Forbidden Planet yesterday. You may wonder why it's not open. Because this is my second Leatherface. As yesterday, if you go follow me on Instagram at create underscore animate underscore terminate, all lowercase and none of the exclamation marks, Yes, I changed my name so it won't be Fazbear Fun 101 anymore before you ask. It's not a different account, just a different name. You'd know that when I opened the flap, as you know you can with NECA figures, yesterday mine had two right hands. Yet, yet Forbidden Planets, being the nice store they are, still let me have a... It's not a refund, because, let's just, I don't know, just, they gave me a second one, and they took that one, but I think it was worth, worth more than the original one that I got, because they, like, put something in it, and they put it somewhere, so maybe the defect was worth a lot, I don't know, I don't care, just go, if you want to see it, go on my Instagram, yeah, and I got a good deal on this at Forbidden Planet. It was in the one of those glass cases they have there. And they let me have it. They had two. But they this one, yesterday, the, the first one was the one with the defect. And then they had a second one, which is this one. But they took it to the basement. So they brought it up today when I asked for a different one. The same figure, just a different box. And they were like, oh, yeah, okay, I see what the problem. So, yeah. I'm very excited because I got this for $32, and on Amazon, it's like $53. Let's look in the flap here to see the figure. Also, beware before you, if you're like a young age and you watch this video, please don't, because pretty spoopy, man. Spoopy, spooky, spoopy. But... You could see a bloody apron already. Here's Leatherface and the, another weird skin mask he has. I didn't watch the Texas Chainsaw movie. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch the Netflix remake as I'm planning to get Netflix. But yeah, here he is in the other skin mask. Here is Bloody Chainsaw. A whole arsenal of weapons here. We got a meat cleaver. This hook that's kind of hard to see on camera, which could be used for a dead by daylight stop motion, so maybe I will. A small little knife and a hammer that's dark, so it's hard to see. Um, on the side, you could see the logo Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right there, NECA. On the other side, it's the same thing. And also, by the way, if you didn't notice, there's like stitches everywhere, so it looks like it's his mask. And right down here, over the neck, you could see an ear. It's Leatherface wearing a mask. Nasty. But here, more. More of the mask being shown. And in holes of the mask, you could see he pose a figure. Here's Leatherface holding a hammer. A table with all his weapons on it. Him with his alternate mask. And him just going ham with his chainsaw. I'll read the bio for you guys this time. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is a tragic tale of five young friends who venture into rural Texas. I don't know. One hot afternoon. And wait, am I reading this right? One hot, one, one hot afternoon and become victims in one of the most bizarre and brutal crimes in Travis County history. I don't know if I'm reading or if that's properly wrote, but I don't care. If I wrote it, read, read it wrong, just pause and read it yourself. Where I leave off? Oh yeah. Many of them meet a horrific end at the hands of the murders of Lunatic Leatherface in what comes, comes to be known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. Also on top, again, it says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, warning, choking hazard. But I can't see any parents buying this for, like, a young child that, that would probably, like, swallow a knife. So, yeah. I'll just open this up now. I'll pause the camera. And let's see our figure. Alright, 
And we got this part out of the box. But something I'm very much questioning, as I never saw any other figure, is... What is this? Throw away, do not eat. I've seen these before, but why is this on this guy? I've never seen this on a NECA figure, and I'm not even joking about that. Only NECA figures I have, which, if you want to see... I have this much already. I haven't seen this on any one of them. So that's kind of confusing. Alright, I'm going to get Leatherface out of this little... I don't know what the call these, but I guess second box. Whatever, I'm going to get him out. So here is Leatherface himself, and you may be wondering, or commenting, Wait, but where is his apron? Here it is. It comes off. Um... I could show you how to put it back on. Because that's actually cool. Like, the apron's detailed, and so is the shirt under. So you could have them without or with. But to get the apron on, you simply remove the head, which comes off good good enough easily. It doesn't come off like when you don't want it to, but if you take it off, it, it it's not hard. So first, to get it on, you put the feet in and yeah so with the head on after you pull the apron up the legs to about here you take this piece put it around his neck and then put the head back on also if you didn't notice i put in the chainsaw <laughs> um so here's the chainsaw that looks pretty sweet and scary definitely a lot of blood on it. Looks very realistic. The gears and whatever. I don't know. But it looks very cool. So that's cool. Now let's try the other weird head thing. I'm going to just get it out of the package right away. So here's the other head. Looks disgusting. So is this one. Just looks less weird in a sense. I don't know. Yeah, that one's kind of hard to put on. Well, here we go. That that looks this disgusting. That that's horrifying. That's scarier than the first one. Jesus Christ! What would you do if you saw this guy walking up to you with a chainsaw? I would most likely pee my pants and call the cops at the same time. That is disgusting and horrifying. God. But here's the skin mask. I'll keep it on for the rest of the review. You know what? If you're a little kitten and for whatever reason you watch my channel, which, yes, I don't curse on this channel because I do that just in case there's a little kid. But I'll just keep the mask on in case there is a little kid because this video, in the beginning, I told you I don't want little kids here. If you're, like, a, a five-year-old sitting there, go away. But if you're, like, around, I don't know, nine nine i don't care if you're nine i'm not but if you are like around that age i don't know eight nine seven i don't care you could stay i, I actually don't care but if you're a five-year-old watching my vids no no just no so let's get him his accessories other ones other than the chainsaw the main one because he's called texas chainsaw massacre for a reason let's put him in the back so you guys could see him. <laughs> Alright, let's get a hammer. Alright, a hammer in the hand. And it go. Hey, go in, go in, go in. Ah, that's kind of hard to put it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's put him in a scary pose. Yeah, and that's a hammer. Let's try the knife. Okay, here he is with a knife. That's spooky. Spooky, scary skeletons. What other... Oh, yeah, okay, we still have a meat cleaver and a long hook. That reminds me of Dead by Daylight. So here is his meat cleaver. And also, you know something I noticed? Th this head, this creepy woman thing head, 
Reminds me of the 2022 Leatherface face. Face. I said Leatherface face. Oh my god. Leatherface mask. Because in that movie, it's more like like this. Like, it's not somehow all pulled together. No, it's like droopy and disgusting. But it's not It's not colored like this. It looks, it looks horrifying. Disgusting. I've seen, like, the trailer and everything. Alright, here he is with his hook. Pretty spooky. Alright, I'm gonna go over the articulation now. So his head can spin like this. A 360 rotation, also known as a swivel. Up, down. It goes down this far, not too far. Up that far, not much farther. And nothing at the neck, just the head. The arm has a full 360 rotation, swivel, a bend here that can also swivel, swivel at the hand, mm, yeah, just a swivel at the hand, which is fine. Same on the other arm, which this arm also has some sort of bracelet. Like I said, I didn't watch the movie. I just know the character pretty well, which I might watch one of the movies one day, maybe. Don't know. And at the waist, I think there might be a swivel, too. Is there a swivel? Yeah, there is a decent swivel, as you could tell, but he had to lift his apron and do that. It's a small swivel, but there is a swivel. Now for the legs, I'll move over the apron, apron, which so you could see, which I should have took off the apron for the articulation, but anywho, the leg could go this much forward, this much back. There's a bend at the knee and a slight swivel. 360 rotation at the ankle, also known as swivel. How many times am I gonna am I gonna say swivel? Jesus Christ! I'm becoming Jobby the Hunk. Which also, um, if you're under seventeen, <clears throat> don't watch Jobby the Hong. I I know I'm not seventeen, but Jesus Christ! I saw one of his videos a few times, and he isn't the most child friendly man. He he swears he 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 in his channel's kind of stupid, but just. I don't. I feel like my audience. No, don't watch John Be Hung at all. My audience. On my audience, just don't, don't do it. Yeah, it's he's stupid. Kind of. <laughs> sorry, but it's sorry if you somehow are watching this. But yeah. Same thing at the other leg. And yeah, now let's do a size comparison. He is next to Neca Freddy Krueger, Neca Jason Voorhees. Neka Jason Voorhees. Oh my god, how many Neka Jason Voorhees are there? Well, this one's a bit taller than them. You gotta be kidding me. Another J. Oh, it's Roy Burns. Yeah. Both of the Pennywise figures. Chucky, but as you can notice, he's missing the hands because they're in my horror figure box and I'm not just gonna search for them just for a second in a video. And last but definitely not least, my ultimate NECA Michael Myers. Also, I do have another NECA Michael Myers figure which is the retro cloth one, but he's buried in my other figures right now. And he's a good one too, by the way. So yeah, that's NECA Latherface. I hope you enjoyed this video and just subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. As there will be some good animations too. And also follow me on Instagram at create underscore animate underscore terminate.